The Philippines and Japan just made a ninja move against the Chinese. Without much fanfare, the Philippines and Japan signed a landmark agreement that could have a major impact on the security landscape in the West Philippine Sea. The agreement is seen as a counter to China's growing assertiveness in the region. Coinciding with the arrival of the visiting Japan Premier Fumio Kishida, the ambassador to the Philippines Koshikawa Kazuhiko, and Secretary for Foreign Affairs Enrique Manalo, the official security assistance from Japan was signed for the Republic of the Philippines. What is Official Security Assistance? Official Security Assistance, OSA, is a new cooperation framework established by Japan in 2023 to provide equipment and supplies, as well as assistance for infrastructure development, to like-minded countries with the aim of deepening security cooperation, creating a desirable security environment for Japan, and contributing to maintaining and strengthening international peace and security. What does this mean? The Japanese government will provide $4 million worth of coastal radar systems to the Department of National Defense Armed Forces of the Philippines. What's in it for Japan? According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan's website, the Philippines faces important sea lanes for Japan, including the South China Sea and the Luzon Strait. To ensure the safety and security of these sea lanes, it is very timely and crucial that the Maritime Domain Awareness MDA, capabilities of the Department of National Defense, including the Armed Forces of the Philippines and especially the Philippine Navy, are enhanced for the effective monitoring of these sea lanes and waters. I did some research and here's what I found. The JGSDF, or Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, uses the Mitsubishi TPS P-80Me Coastal Surveillance Radar. Let us keep our fingers crossed and hope our armed forces will soon use this type of radar system to defend the country's sovereignty. The TPS P-80Me is intended for deployment in coastal areas. It is a mobile coastal surveillance radar designed to detect and track vessels and low-altitude aircraft, including high-speed fighters, simultaneously, it offers advanced signal processing for superior accuracy. This system is an enhanced version of the JTPS P South, also operated by the Japan Ground Self Defense Force. It operates using the X band frequency and an instrumented range of 160 nautical miles. Is it sufficient to cover the 200 nautical mile exclusive Philippine Economic Zone, especially in the West Philippine Sea? Unfortunately, no. Judging by its instrumented range, which is 160 nautical miles. But don't be fooled by the limitations of the Japanese coastal radars the Philippines will soon put into work on our coast. Imagine what the Japan made coastal radars and the Indian made Brahmos working in tandem can do to would be invaders of the Philippines. These two have almost identical ranges, by the way. Are these defense equipment enough to make the Chinese think twice before attacking the Philippines in the future in case a war breaks out between the Philippines and China because of its border conflict in the West Philippine Sea? Please comment down below and let us know your answer.